Gold and Mexican Cave Whisper. Today I'll be showing you how to mod how to make my base for creating animals. This is um I designed completely by myself. And I'll show you how to get there, the steps to make it, and what you can do in the future to use that base. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start by folding in half in all directions. It's a fairly simple model, simple base, but it's not very, it's not super easy. If you rec if you if you want to do this origami, I'd recommend having at least three years of origami experience. That, but hey, that's just a theory. I could be wrong. If you're like from some really good origami prodigy, then you might know only need like two years. If you're like some slow, a slow learner, you might need like five years. Anyways, sorry, this light doesn't really do it well. Okay, what you're gonna do is now you're gonna fold each corner to the center point. I don't know what's wrong with that light. It really makes things hard to see. I don't need it from now on. I hope I remember. I'll try. Sorry about that. <sighs> My family. Then unfold completely. Fold all the corners. And now you're gonna fold each edge to a diagonal crease. To each diagonal crease. Half halfway diagonal crease, as I like to call them. Oops, sorry. Now you're gonna make all those creases. Of course, I'm not going to speed it up so you can slowly see what I'm doing, like that. Well, eventually, I'll make a tutorial on how to make specific animals with base. And I and when if you're watching this video, yes, I do give you permission to um to use this base in, in your organ media with one, with one rule. You must mention that the paper whisperer designed this. Deal? Sounds good. Thank you. Because I I would love to copyright this base, but it costs money, so don't worry. If I um if I find someone who uses this face and doesn't mention my name. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I probably will dislike the video. Yes, I really care about copy about things being right and honesty. Like if I would sound like a hydra if I like I said, in my hydrogen tiles box video, I um referenced Shusa Fujimoto because he was the one who originally designed the hydrangea. And give him most of the credit for the box. Okay. Now that you've unfolded, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, gonna um, sorry, you're gonna fold two of the diagonal creases that intersect on an edge. Let me show you. Two diagonal creases that inter that make an X, like this, making a really fat rabbit ear. Unfold it to each side, flattening it. Make sure it makes a good crease. Now, this is a bit of a tricky step. Not too tricky, but for me, but it takes a lot of practice. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do a swivel fold. You're gonna take this mountain fold on the very edge of, of the purple or the color and create it, therefore, going and going along the crease that takes to the halfway point. Let me show that again. Like, like this. Repeat on the other side. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn over, fold in, fold the, from this from this point to this point, and of course you might have guessed it. Repeat the steps. First, fold the crease. Okay, so crease the rabbit. 
here. And please don't get mad at me. Well, I, as you might know, you probably could have guessed it. I'll be making a lot of animal tutorials in the future. So I'll probably be using this face for all of them. Hope you don't mind a bit of the rep repetition. Okay, now what we're gonna do is some more swivel folds. What you're gonna do, I don't know you can zoom in, but with your camera, it's not very easy. You're gonna push up and create the mounting holes right here. So, right here. Create it. It's not fully, it's not gonna go well, so you're gonna have to do it on the other side. And then it's gonna flatten. Don't try to flatten it when you only did one. It won't work out, it won't go well. Now repeat on the other side. By the way, Robert J. Lang, even though you probably aren't, if you're watching this, I say hi. So, um, then, you're gonna, um, this is, a bit, this is probably the tr tricky step in this model. So listen carefully. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it in the air. Let me change my camera a bit. There we go. Even though I didn't change much. You're gonna go along the, this crease, splitting this flap in half, making it a mountain fold. Now, if you, now this could be very frustrating if you do it the wrong way, so be very careful with my instructions. Or be on the other side. Make sure to not, that you keep the mountain fold staying there. Now, you're gonna see them, the points, you're gonna pull them apart. If, you, if you're too scared that the paper's gonna rip, just pull it apart and then create the mountain fold between the two points. Oops, this can be your heat starting off. So I've got to make sure I keep it on. So every once in a while, that's why I'm doing it. Now, you're gonna see this. What you're gonna do, you're gonna go along the existing creases and flatten. And flatten the um the um flatten the flaps the the skinny flaps you just created to the side to the side I just uh, that you just made. Now you're gonna repeat on the other side. Of course, I don't believe in speeding up. It may take more of the computer space, but that's not what matters. I want to make sure you, what matters is that you guys see it and understand it. Who needs a bad, you're really impressed, really big CPU when you have a hard drive, right? a really symmetrical base well it's not really a base anymore i'm more than some shaping it's gonna look like this we're gonna add some more less um symmetrical stuff to it but that's not what we're gonna do right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a pleat sink or not a pleat sink a really complex open closed sink or i don't know what to call it what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold between we're gonna fold this point so the top point of the of the model to the bot to the mid to the middle of point it's parallel with i make this a very strong crease and unfold now you got to be very careful when you're doing this but open it up and go along the crease you just made The creases, I should say. Okay, 
time. It's all about practice. I don't know if I got it actually. I think I got it. It's here. Create. It's like an open sink. It's just a bit more complex. One sec. No, never mind about that. I, I, I was making a dock. If you find, if you do find a way to do this, you can tell me. <sighs> On second thought, just what you're gonna do is you. We're gonna change, we're gonna do something else instead. So this is where the the base ends. And you see, I forgot, I meant to say this earlier, sorry about that. Um, but it's gonna look like this. I'll show you again. Now, in these animals, you're gonna have a, a white belly and a colored animal. If you want, you can start, if you want to do the opposite, start on the colored side up. Okay, finally. What you're gonna do is shape it a bit. Well, how I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna um, fold this back. So I'm gonna fold, I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna narrate what I'm doing even though it doesn't really matter, I've already made the base. I'm gonna fold this back and then fold this up like a t like so I can create a rhino head. change this a bit so it's our real, really itchy now what we're gonna do is rhinos are not are pretty pretty buff so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start and make a crease between this point and this point basically between the top cor two corners beside not the top corner you're gonna get not leveled then tuck it in inside Or you can just create basically like this and then reverse the fold. Then up. And then one last thing you can do to modify your base is a little um is a little reverse fold sink, as I like to call it. You're gonna fold in half completely. And fold the, this edge up to this line where the colors meet. I'll show you. So fold this here and that here. Well, now unfold. And this is a bit of a tricky step. You're gonna create now unfolds. And you figured it out. You're gonna create mountain holes and make this little river sink, as I like to call it, like I said. And we're gonna we're gonna flatten that but by sinking this flap. Yes, it's gonna make the most sense. This is how you skinny down your flap. Sorry, your animal. Skin, not skinny down, you're gonna make it a bit more tough. I like doing this because it's a bit shorter and makes it a bit more realistic. By the way, thank you, Joe Nakashima. You were the one who originally introduced this to me to this step. And I probably wouldn't be as good at origami today without you. And of course, you think you're gonna shape her. You're very inspiring, especially Roger Gilling. All those Oregon mists, they're pretty cool. Okay, now what we're gonna do for the rhino is we are gonna fold. We're gonna fold, by the way, this is the more of a rhino tutorial, but I'm just gonna walk through um, what I'm doing. Then, 
you're gonna hold the, these corner, this corner, this corner, and this corner inside. Just be creating a bit more, making it a bit more round, just like a rhino. work around that a bit. Now the cool thing about this base, it's that, it's that when you are um, doing it, you can um if you do if you make it right, you'll be able to make it stand. I know it's pretty cool, right? Okay, now we're gonna work on the legs a bit. But first I'm gonna work on the tail. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shape the legs a bit. Let me see how long this video is so far. It's not a big deal, 17 minutes. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're, we're gonna make some strong legs. So we're gonna make um, these are more horse legs, but still, we're gonna create, um, uh, we're gonna make some reverse folds like that. Sorry, let me change the video so you can see it a bit better. Okay. We're going to create that on just the one of the front legs. And make a foot to hold it a bit down. We're gonna fold and then do another fold. Oh, actually, never mind. And then, let's just change this a bit. Let's do the opposite reverse fold. That is gonna be the stomp foot. So it's gonna look like that. Now we're gonna do we're gonna just kind of nudge it a bit, kind of making it a bit more muscular. There we go. And then we're gonna work on the other legs. We're gonna just simply fold the feet out. And then muscularize the legs. Let's change this a bit so that this is a bit further off. Oh. There we go. We're gonna now. Finally, um, wait, actually, we're gonna, gonna do some final shaping, like kind of make the, the head a bit more round. And then we're gonna repeat on this side. If we get it right, it's going to stand. Uh, oh, forget about the, the leg. That's standing. But 
pencil. And then we're gonna just push the belly up a bit. Our rhino, or the animal-based tutorial, is done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!